Left for Mark Antoine Pepin, longtime player in the Quebec Major Junior League. Comets are back in the zone now. A shot on save, rebound, and they score. It's not a power play goal, but Drake Rimshaw does find the back of the net. That's Benjamin Gagne who wiped out. But he gets back in the play, and it's a 2 on one for the Comets. Cross ice, shot, and he scores. After being hit, Benjamin Gagne back to his skates, back down the ice, and a 2 on one cross crease goal makes it 2 0 Comets. Doug McFalls with it again for Petrozelli. Back out in front, and they score. Petrozelli and Dove McFalls give and go with one another. Now it's Polino, though. Back out, walks in front, shot, and he scored! Polino buries it on his own rebound, and the deficit is down to two. Cincinnati's going to have to do it even strength. 16 and a half to go. And a stolen puck. Olszewski took it on a breakaway. He scores! And it is a one-goal game. Olszewski picks the pocket, and he picks the top corner as well. That one is driven up the wall, held in by Burnside. He had to jump and keep that puck in. Finds pass, old high slot, shot, he scores! Down 3 nothing, and they come all the way back! Pass old scores, this game is tied at three. He enters today as the leading scorer for the Comets. He picks it up, the shootout underway. Giuliotti cutting right, staying right, winds, fakes, shoots and scores. Well, the veteran who's done this before gets warm to bite. The Cyclones have a chance to stay alive and send it into the extra innings of shootouts, we'll call them. Rimshaw, dynamite player, stays toward the center of the right, shoots, scores. The game is over, and the Fort Wayne Comets bend but do not break. After having a three-goal lead erased, they pull it out in the shootout and get their first win of the season.